Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm just making this fun little project here. Um, I'm sure you've seen these all over the place with a little flower pot with a little bunny butt sticking out of it. And I've never made one and um, I figured let's see what we can use here, you know, since everyone's staying home right now, that we could make this cute little bunny butt flower pot. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But I'm just, I have a flower pot here that I'm going to use that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, you could use a plastic cup if you had one. You could use a, you know, an old tin can or something you wanted to paint it up and make it look pretty. Um, you could use anything. So I'm just going to use this pot because I happen to have it. And I'm going to use some of my uh, folk art chalk paint. And this is the Cottage White. Um, you can get this pretty much anywhere. Actually, I just ordered some from Amazon since I'm not going out right now. Um, I'm going to use six cotton balls to make the little bunny butt. Uh, a couple pieces of felt. You only need a few tiny little pieces. I have white and pink. If you don't have felt, you could always use maybe um, some cardstock paper or something like that. Because this is just a fun little project. Not, you know, one of your major home decor things or anything. And then I'm going to be using a napkin to decoupage on this after I get it painted. Um, these I actually got at the Dollar Tree. I was a little disappointed because it only has the pattern on that part of the napkin. But that's okay. That gives me plenty to work with because I just want to put some Easter eggs on here. And I have a little cotton ball here. I'm going to, or a pom-pom rather, that I'm going to use for his tail. And I think that's pretty much it. You just need a little paint and a little hot glue here to do this. So first I'm going to take my pot and I'm going to paint this bottom part white. And I'm just going to be using one of these sponge brushes from the Dollar Tree and just tap the paint on it. And I'm not going to worry about getting it on the top. I am going to paint this in a, um, I think I'm going to paint that yellow. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but we'll see. Let's see what kind of paint I think is going to look best with this. And then when I do the top, I'm going to actually tape this off so I don't make a mess. But this is all you got to do. And I'll probably do two coats of this. I'll let it dry and put on another coat just so it covers real well. But I just love doing these projects because they're just so easy and quick and fun to do. And I just love decoupaging and all the pretty napkins I've been finding. And a couple people sent me some really pretty ones too that I want to do some other projects with. So let me just get one coat on here so I can set this aside and let it dry. Whoops! While we cut out our um, little Easter eggs from the napkin. Just want to get it in this ridge and then I'll probably be a little bit more careful with the second coat. but. I just want to make sure I get that all tapped down in there. It's just an easy peasy thing to do. Alright, so we're just going to let that sit and dry. And then we'll put on another coat. Let me set this over here. I'll probably use my heat gun to get it to dry a little faster. But that's noisy, so we won't do that on here. All right, let me just set this aside here for a second and get my paper out of the way. And then just to cut out your napkins, for anybody who hasn't seen me do this before, this is a, actually a two-ply napkin. So you're going to want to take that apart just so we have the one ply to work with. And, oh, you are going to need some Mod Podge. This is also from the Dollar Tree. I like to use the gloss. I like a little shine on it. All right, now to cut these little eggs out, I did cut out a bunch of them here already that I'm going to use. But for anybody who hasn't seen me do this yet, um, I have one of these watercolor pens that I use. But you can use just a regular paintbrush with some water. Just dip it in the water, wipe it off a little bit, and you can do exactly the same way. And then you just trace around it with the water. You know, unless you prefer to cut them out. I like to do this because it just doesn't leave a straight edge when you, you know, go to decoupage. And then just put your hand over the image and just peel away all the paper around the edge. 
And I like sitting and doing this. This is a very relaxing thing for me anyway. Um, so you just go around whatever image you want to use. If you don't want to use the Easter eggs, you can use whatever napkin or you know that you have. You may not even want to make it an Easter theme, but we're just going to make something cute here to brighten things up a little. have a couple little Easter decorations around and that's it and that's just all I do to cut out my thing I don't like too many scraggly ends on here but it just seems to blend in so much better when you um, either rip tear it or do it this way instead of just having a straight edge when you cut it out so I'm going to add that over here to my pile of things uh, Easter eggs, and then whatever ones you want to use, you just trace around it with the water, peel it away, and there you go. So now I am going to have to wait for my pot to dry here. I'm going to try to get it to go a little bit faster, and then figure out what color paint I want to put along the rim of this, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I decided I wanted to use the uh, prominent pink on this one, um, this rose more of a rosy color. I had a lighter pink, but I thought the dark would look much cuter on this one. So I'm going to use one of these little bit smaller sponges from Dollar Tree, which I've had to re-glue a couple times. They work real well, but the little stick does tend to fall off if you're washing them a lot. So I'm going to try to do this and not go down under my little rim there. I'm going to get the top, and I'm also going to go on the inside of this a little bit. And let's see, this is covering really well, so I don't know. I'll see how it looks when it's dry. I might only do one coat of the pink. Since the um, pot is such a reddish, you know, tone to it, it seems to be covering really well. And of course, I got a little pink under there. I am not the neatest painter on the planet, that's for sure. You could always put a piece of tape around there, too, if you're worried about getting it on the white. But that's not too bad. So I actually think the one coat is going to do it for this pink. I got it everywhere. That looks pretty good. All right. And then I'm going to put this down on the inside a little bit because I don't know how full I'm going to have this. Um, just so it's a nice pink color if you can see it when we're done here. I don't want to see the terracotta color. I don't think we need to go any farther than that because we're going to fill this up pretty good. There. So that will be the color of our pot. I'm sure I'm going to see a few spots here and there. There we go. I think that's good enough. Alright, so as soon as that dries, oh, there's a little hair on it. We are going to come back and start decoupaging on our eggs. I want to get rid of this glass thing here because it gets noisy. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Alright, this is nice and dry now. So now I'm just going to start putting on some of my little eggs. I have some of my gloss Mod Podge here in my little dish and I like using one of these flat brushes they're kind of a stiff brush not real you know super stiff but I like a nice flat brush and I like the smaller ones too I seem to be able to work with them better so we're just gonna grab some of our little eggs here now if you want you can put on Mod Podge first but these are so thin it goes right through it's not necessary to do that step if you don't want to and I'm just gonna put these around here no particular way 
Just gonna smooth them out. Like I always say, just use a lot of Mod Podge here. I'm gonna fill in these spaces too because I want this whole thing covered in it so it's all nice and shiny. And everybody always asks me how not to get the wrinkles, and the only way I know how to do it is just a little bit at a time. Try to work out any wrinkles you see. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I still end up with a few, but that's all right. There. And there's our first egg. Which way does that wrinkle want to go? All right. And once you get it down, you don't want to mess with it too much more because, you know, you run a risk of ripping your napkin. All right, so there we have our first egg. I think over here we're going to put on a purple one. And I'm just going to put these on here all different directions. <clears throat> these things kind of rolled up on me after they dried. Did get a wrinkle in that one because it got stuck on some of the Mod Podge that I had there. That's why I think it's better. For, well, for me at least, it's better to do without the Mod Podge first. That one, let's see, we can put a green one over here. Let's see, how about this pink one here? We haven't done a pink one, although I might want to put another one of these striped ones back here. Maybe I'll do these smaller ones. I think I'm going to put some little dots on this when it dries. Um, I have some of the Tim Holtz, what do they call it? Liquid Pearls. Or you could just use, you know, different colored paint with a Q-tip or something. And just make some colorful dots on here. I think that'll look cute, too. But I do have a yellow and a blue and like a... I don't know what color this is. Like I'm going to be able to see. Um, I'm not seeing it. But anyway, it's this pretty color. say the colors on them. No. But anyway, I have this pretty blue too, and then I have this yellow one, and I'm just going to put a few of those dots around here. Um, I think that will look very Eastery. Make sure I've got everything covered here so it's all nice and shiny. Uh, let's see, I think this pink one will be the last one over here. I guess we'll make this one kind of go this way.
Now, if you wanted to seal this when you were finished, you could use, you know, some kind of a spray sealer or whatever you have. Um, I'm not going to bother. It's just going to be an indoor. That wrinkles bother me. Um, just a little indoor decoration here, so I'm not going to worry about doing that. But you could always spray it with a clear spray paint or something. And if you get some of these little tiny bumps in here, I've noticed they kind of flatten out after it dries, so you don't have to be too crazy about trying to get rid of those. Alright, so I am just going to go around this edge here, give it a little shine. We're going to make our little bunny. This will be fun. I didn't have any big pom poms, or I didn't have any. I do have white yarn somewhere, but I'm not sure where that ended up. I did pack up a lot of things trying to get things out of my craft room that I don't use all the time and put in big uh, storage containers. And I'm sure it's somewhere, but we're just going to use the cotton balls instead of trying to make a giant pom-pom. Alright, I think that will be nice and shiny. Alright, so we're just going to set that over there and let it dry. I'm going to put this Mod Podge back in the container. That's another reason I like these little um, plastic trays from the Dollar Tree. It has that nice point on it where I can save all my stuff. Alright. Now to make our bunny butt, I just dropped my lid, I'll get that later. Um, you're going to need your six cotton balls, and we are just going to hot glue these all together. Um, you don't have to be real fancy about this or anything. I'm just going to add all six of these cotton balls together. I'll show you how we're going to blend it together so it doesn't look like a cotton ball when we're done. So you're just going to glue those all around the center one. And there. It looks like not much of anything right now, but a bunch of little cotton balls. Get some more glue here, because you're going to need a lot of glue for this. So now we're going to glue these, each separate one, together. You don't have to do anything perfectly on this. Just get them glued together. Just like that. So then you'll end up with this. So now we're going to fluff these up a little bit. We're just going to pull some of the cotton up from this one that and then we're going to glue it right down onto the next one like so and then I like to do the opposite one and pull this one over. You don't want to pull it till it comes apart, just enough to pull some of the cotton up and then we're going to wrap that one over on this side and that already covers up our little separations here. So we'll do one going this way. Glue that one down over top of this one. And then on this side we'll take it from the other one. Over. I glued some to my finger. 
See, then you really don't see the that they are individual cotton balls. And if you can, you can just kind of pull a little bit more up and then just tuck that over. All right, we have this one here to do yet. So gluing it to my fingers. All right, so we have that part done. Now down here, you're going to kind of do the same thing. Just kind of fluff all this stuff up. So you're pulling up like that, and then we're just going to glue that right down in this middle one. Fold it over. There is our little bunny butt. And if you can still see where some of these are separated or something, you can just add a little bit more glue, just pull them apart. Right there is where our little tail is going to go. So we don't have to do anything with that. But here's a little spot here that looks too much like a cotton ball. So we're just going to pull that right over. There. And that is our little bunny butt that's going to sit in our um, flower pot. And now for feet, I just took the <coughs> little piece of pink felt, or like I said, you could use paper if you don't have any felt on hand. I'm trying to get some of this cotton off my fingers. And for the feet, I didn't don't have a pattern or anything. I just took a pen. I just kind of draw it out what would look like, sort of like a bean. Um, just made it round and just made it come in a little bit so it looks like a foot. Like that. And then just cut that out. And you end up with these little feet. And then for the rest of it, for like the heel of the foot, I just made a bigger little, a bigger little, that didn't make any sense. There's a larger oval, I should say, from the rest cutting it around into an oval as best you can. And there you have a little over for the heel. And then for the toes, I just did the same thing. I just took it and just made really Small ovals, tiny as I could get them here in my big old fingers. Just like those. And that will be the toes. So then you end up with something that looks like that. <clears throat> I actually have to glue these down. I didn't glue them down yet. All right. A little bit of hot glue, glue down the heels. And then just glue down your little toes. Whoops. These are really hard to work with. It'd probably be better off if I use like some tweezers or something. Glue web. And there, and that is his little foot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this other one on here, um, waiting for this thing to dry. And I think I'm going to wait to put my dots on until I'm completely finished. That way it could just sit and dry. So let me go ahead and finish this little foot. And when that guy gets uh, good and dry, we're going to fill it up and I'm going to 
just find some pieces of flowers. I don't want anything too big, you know, for our little bunny guy. And we'll be back. Okay, everything's nice and dry. Now for the inside of this, it's a totally different thing. I was actually going to do this in a separate video because I didn't want this to be too long, but we'll try to go through this pretty quick. Um, I'm going to use one of these floral foam balls. This came from the Dollar Tree. It's a 2.8 inch, and this thing fits right down in here nice and snug. So you don't even have to glue that in there unless, you know, you'd rather have it glued down a little bit. And I'm going to take some of the moss. Um, this is the reindeer moss from Dollar Tree also. And I'm just going to fill around our little ball here. You don't need much. You only need a little bit of this. Um, just to... Yeah, I rock a little bit of it hanging off to the edge here. I love this stuff. This stuff is so nice and soft. It doesn't make that much of a mess. Um, you know, it makes a little mess. Oh, there's a big old stick in there. And that's all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of this reindeer moss on here. And if you feel you need a little more, you can, you know, put that on after. So now, I don't know where I want my front to be. I'm kind of thinking, I kind of like it right here. Where these two pretty little Easter eggs are. So, I just cut off a bunch of flowers. You know what kind of flowers they have at Dollar Tree. I didn't want anything too big. I don't know if I'm going to be using these like daffodils. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff here. Um, these are just calling foliage. They have all different kinds out now, and they're really nice. And we have some, um, what are these? What are these? Uh, hyacinths and lilacs and whatever you want to use. But I just kind of wanted some of the bigger flowers towards the back of this guy here. And I may have to cut this. Just to stick up in the back with some leaves. But that would look nice. And then put, you know, like a little green in between. But like I said, this will be cute with whatever you happen to have around right now. Um, it's just fun to do. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted that to be the front, so you know I may need another one of these greens. I don't know. But nothing's glued in, so if we don't like it the way it's sitting, we can just change it all up. All right. Um, I might want to put another green over here, just to even it out. Stick in. I'm losing everything here. We have a purple hyacinth here we can stick back up here. I'm not quite sure. I may have to maybe use, I don't know, I want something small here in the front. I love these. These are so pretty. But we'll see. I really don't have any yellow in here either, so I may have to use a daffodil maybe something else back there. Mm, let's see. I don't know. I have so many other colors. We'll find something here. But I don't know if I can get these down far enough. Let's try. Whoops, that came right off. because this goes down pretty far. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work out perfectly because right in there the bunny can sit. Alright, we're going to put another batch of those on the other side. And I don't want any leaves on this one because I don't want it to block my little bunny. But I do still need something back there. Let's see what other color I have. Um, we have our purples. I don't want to put this pink. All right. Let me see what I have in my bag of tricks over here as far as flowers. Here we have a pretty 
No, that's what I already have. Ooh, purple. Or more of a blue. Um, come on out of there. Here we go. It's more of a blue lilac. Maybe we'll stick that right up in the back. Just a second. All right, now we're going to figure out where the little bunny goes and see if we want to add anything else to this because we may not. Get that too close. There. All right, then we're going to take our little bunny butt here. He's going to sit right in here like this. So, not going to need much here. We're just going to glue him right to the rim, and he will stay put, or she. Right there. There's our little bunny butt. And we're going to put on our little tail right there. His tail probably could have been a little bit bigger. You could always use a cotton ball for this if you want. I may actually add um, a couple of these together. I don't know. Let's see. And then we're just going to glue the feet right onto the pot, right underneath here. Let me look in here make sure you can see. Yep. So we're just going to glue one right here. And then we're going to pull this down so it meets it. Other foot, make sure I got it the right way. Yes, I want them upside down. And that's going to go right here. So there's him with little feet sticking out. Go man. There, and there's our little bunny butt. And yes, he does need a bigger tail. I don't like that one. I think his foot's too far apart over here. Yeah, I think that looks better. Alright, now we can glue him down to the feet. A little dot there. A little butt tuck. Yeah, he definitely needs a bigger tail. I don't know if um, doing it with a cotton bowl is going to look good or not. But you know what? We're going to find out. I'm just going to pull this apart. Now, you know what? It looks better with the brighter white because it, it kind of disappears. I guess you could give him a little blue tail if you wanted to, but we're just going to leave that for now. I wish I had a bigger one, but I do not. I don't think. Alright, so let me clean this mess up here. I am going to look around and see if I have uh, a different pom-pom that I can use for the tail, but if not, that's going to do just fine. And let me clean this mess up here so we can actually see how cute this will look set up. Alright guys, there he is all done. I did go around with the Tim Holtz um, liquid pearls. And like I said, if you don't have that, you could just use, you know, just some acrylic paint or whatever. Even markers or something to make the little dots. And I raised his feet up a little bit. They just didn't look right down too low. It looks much better up here. And I just moved him up so they're up on his body a little bit more. And then for his tail, I did find that if you take those pom-poms and stretch them ever so gently, they do stretch out a little bit. So I just glued two of those together and put them on there for his little tail. I need to tuck in some more of my cotton ball. But anyway, I think it's cute. I'm going to put him out in my living room and just a little something to make you smile here. And 
a little more cheerful. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed hanging out and doing this video. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.